What is up players? It is Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Welcome to a video on how I paint wood elf dryads in this gray color scheme. Gray trees. Very cool. And uh, they're gonna pop out a lot more because they're such a off color from the, the greens and the browns that I have been using. So that's a rundown of the colors that I'm gonna be using. Mechanica Standard Gray, Dawnstone, uh, Administer Autumn Gray, sorry, Elysium Green, Castellan Green, Warpstone Glow, Moot Green. Very limited color palette, but uh, as you can see, you're gonna get some great, great finishing colors all uh, put together. You can use some shades. I decided with these miniatures that I wanted to see what it would look like without using the shades, but if you want to add a little bit of extra depth, then uh, you can. The dry models are great for that. The first thing that I did was I base coated the miniature in Morn Fang Brown, and Games Workshop has a, a colored primer that I used for this. You might remember last year in the painting challenge, I base coated all of the miniatures in Morn Fang Brown for my Wood Elves. It's because at the time I couldn't decide what I wanted to, uh, what colors I wanted to paint. I was still thinking maybe I'd do the triads in a brown kind of uh, color scheme. But in the end, I decided to go with gray because, like I had mentioned earlier, the gray really sticks out. You can build up all the way to a kind of a dusty, ashy white. You can also um, just change up the, the leaf colors. I, I didn't have to go with green. I could have gone with, if you wanted to do like an autumn color scheme, you could do some red leaves. And that would uh, change how the, the gray looks as well. I thought the green really is going to pop from the gray and uh, that's why I decided to use it. Most of the other, in fact I'm, I'm gonna say all of all 11 of the other dryads in this commission have been painted in this gray color scheme so I know that it works and I know that I love it. I think it's a, a great great color scheme. So here we go. I'm just really brushing it on. I'm uh, not trying to be too messy. You don't want to put too much paint on your brush and uh, when you slap it on the miniature you don't want it to accumulate in any one area. So that's why I've got a lot of paint loaded on my brush but when I put it on the model I'm fanning it out from the center. I'm expanding it from that big glob wherever that big glob lands and uh, I'm making sure that I get even coverage. I s spread it out and even when I'm using my paint I'm adding a little bit of water to it so it flows more evenly. Mechanica Standard Gray isn't uh, too thick of a foundation or a base paint so you, you don't have to worry about it really clogging up any details as long as you move it around while it's still uh, a little bit of a little wet I want to say. You get it all over and um, make sure that you turn your model at all different angles. What I'm using for any of my uh, new viewers and subscribers out there is I'm using a little cork handle that you can pick up at any craft or hobby store. You can also use any kind of cylindrical container or sh uh, shaped tool. You can even use like an old paint bottle or a prescription bottle. Just slap some poster tack or pinning tack, blue tack to the top of it and uh, it will make sure that you, your miniatures don't move and your hands won't cramp up. I'm using Castellan Green to paint her little skirt. I think using this more drab green is a great idea because it shows you a little bit of a different color while also not distracting from the greens that we're going to use for the, um, for the leaves. Now, speaking of which, I had lost that clip so I'm going to kind of work over what I did. The first thing I did was I took my Elysian Green after everything had dried. I'd waited for it to dry too. I took my Elysian Green and I uh, just highlighted all of the skirt area. And then I, um, I washed my Warpstone Glow and I had painted the... I painted it into the eyes and into the any kind of designs on the... Um, that are carved onto the bark to kind of give it a glowy feel. Then I took my Dawnstone and I'm just recreating everything that I did in that lost video. 12 minutes worth of work and filming down the drain, but that's okay. And I'm highlighting all of the raised areas. This isn't the entire model. What I'm doing is I want to look at the model as a two-dimensional, almost like if I took a picture of it. And I'm trying to see, okay, where are the most 
raised areas of this uh, picture. Because if you just keep turning the model around and you're just highlighting the entire thing, you're going to lose your highlights. They're going to get all um, into the, the depths and the cracks and the crevices. So even though I lost the video where I actually did that, all I did was highlight the raised uppermost areas in Dawnstone and then I did the same thing in uh, Administratum Gray. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Warpstone Glow and making sure that I'm in frame. I'm uh, picking out the leaves. There are lots of leaves sculpted onto the miniature and there are some that I didn't even notice the first time that I went through painting it. I just painted the leaves that are sticking out of her head but then I realized, oh yeah, this, is, this model has leaves sprouting out from her torso. So really, it's a lot of fun to pick out all of the little areas and to find the sculpted leaves on your dryad models. You're really gonna like it. And uh, I know that because I, hey guys. Oh, I actually have a good time painting them. And um, while I put my phone on the side to make sure I don't hit any more buttons, I'm going to finish off with Moot Green. And uh, the goal here with your moot green is that you want to only highlight the edges of the leaves. So the very tip, and uh, if you can, either the top or the bottom. You don't want to paint the entire leaf in moot green because then you're going to lose all that warp stone glow. You want to show the progression of color. And there you have it, how to paint a wood elf dry. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very quick, simple color scheme that you can play with and do as you please. Thanks for watching.